Jen Eden here, founder of The Sugar Freedom Method. I always love saying that because it is incredible what you can do in 90 days when you have women supporting you who are like-minded, who show you the exact steps to kick and manage your addiction. So with that said, today I want to talk to you about, this is such an interesting thing, but I hear it a lot. Like, how can I be healthier for the holidays? Yeah, like how could I do it better this year? And I always say, Healthier is a like timeline, right? Like it's not a perfect straight line. Oh my gosh, Jen does it this way so she's healthier. I feel like healthier is like a ladder. So I don't know what your holidays look like, but if you tend to put on 10 pounds or more by the new year, for me, healthier for you would be, how about we strive for putting on five or just staying even with our scale, okay? Because the scale measures inflammation. So for me, I'm not attached. If you tend to put on 10, I'm gonna say it again. What if we just saw if we could not put on any? Forget losing, right, during holiday season, but not putting on any, that's number one. Number two, if you tend to fall off on your diet totally, I don't mean being on a diet, but your normal healthy eating for the holidays, you just get frazzled from the shopping and the obligations and the parties for work and your clients and employees, then how about you just sticking to your healthier diet and not skipping meals Monday through Friday? Maybe that's a healthier version for you, yes? Okay, number three, what if you're a baker? I get a lot of people who join us in the Sugar Freedom Method and they're bakers. And I say, well, what if you just upgraded your ingredients this year? So you still ate the stuff that you enjoy, right? Because well, you're not working with us, which is fine, right? In the Sugar Freedom Method yet to learn how to kick and manage your addiction, but maybe that's just not where you are yet. And I want you to know I honor and respect that. So maybe for you, it just looks like instead of having cane sugar, right? It's highly inflammatory and it's corn syrup and a lot of stuff that you just upgrade. I'm not a huge fan, but it's better to a monk fruit or a coconut sugar, yes? Even stevia. It, it can definitely bother women's stomachs. So not everyone can handle stevia and these sugar alcohols, I actually don't recommend at all. They are a disruptor of, of stomach. Women get a lot of gas and bloating and pain even though they register as no calories. But maybe you just consider if you don't do organic, you start doing organic ingredients in what you're, you're doing. And if you've used just you know cane sugar and, and milk that you consider maybe a dairy-free, because dairy is very inflammatory, okay, for women, 40s to 60s. So like a dairy-free option with maybe an upgraded sugar. Well, you use half the sugar that you used to use in your, in your sweets and things that you're baking, okay? So this doesn't have to be difficult. It can be enjoyable. In fact, I always say the method, women who come see us, if it ain't simple, fun, and easy, sister, you ain't coming. Because the truth is we have more than enough to do on any given day, that we don't look to get healthier by putting more stuff on our plate. It actually can't happen that way. So with that said, um, I truly hope what I shared today was helpful and that if all three things can't be done for the holidays, that maybe you just pick one for this year and you implement it. Okay. Ah, I didn't say it earlier, I'll say it now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you thoroughly enjoy my content, please do that now. The button is somewhere <laughs> here below this video and uh, then we can stay in touch.